how you doing welcome back to the asher and gad channel so as you know we uh we relocated from the uk to ghana and we are in the land thank you Hoa. um thank you to all our subscribers who've wished us well you know along our journey uh thank you very much it's been very appreciated so now we are we are in the land and we begin our next set of se a series of videos a new era in our life we will be living in the land of Ghana West Africa so as you can see I'm standing on our, our plot right now and today's video is all about our plans for the external landscape uh, just to to recap for those of you who are new to our channel we um, we bought two plots of land okay each plot is the standard 100 feet by 70 feet okay so we've got two lots of those in fact in actual fact, uh, when you actually measured it, ours came out at about 105 in somewhere in, in something 105. So you've actually got 105 <coughs> by 70 feet times two. And if you uh, if you like to work in meters, then in terms of meters, each plot is about 650 square meters of area. Yeah, so 105 feet by about 70 feet is about approximately 650 square meters. Okay, so great. So before I carry on, I would like to say if you're new to our channel, please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you always be notified of videos that come out from Asha and Gad. So here, here we go. So let's um let's show you the plot and uh, and how we've, we've demarcated it and what our, what our plans are. Exciting. So. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bit of, a bit of a cough. <coughs> so we've got two plots. We, we are building our, our, the building on one of the plots. And we have a spare plot, spare anacapite plot that you're seeing right now. We've demarcated the area. You can see where you can see, you can see there. Uh, we've got some spare blocks left over that we'll use for a future project. And these, this pile of stones, this area is approximately 50 by 50 feet. And that will be our farm. We're going to have an Asher and Gad farm. Because we, we're all about being independent. So we want to cultivate the land and grow our own food. We want to be able to eat from our land, eat from our plot. Eat, all, you know, in terms of not just not just vegetables, but also uh, carbohydrates, everything, fruits. We want, we want to have a Garden of Eden, as Crystal always says. And basically, this area here will be a 50 feet by 50 feet area for that purpose. So as you come along with me, After the 50 by 50 feet area, we will also have another. Um, we also have another 50. We also have another 50 by 50 feet area there, which will be for a future boys' quarters. Okay, boys' quarters and security type of location, and we'll probably break into the wall and form another form another gate there. All right. You can see that there's a tank here. That tank is a temporary location only. It's a, it's a water tank which will be moved from that location towards the back of the house. Okay, it will be moved to the it will move to the back of the house to form the the borehole system. Currently, we've we've dug a borehole a borehole here. Yeah, which is running run, running fresh fresh water. We'll do a, a separate separate video on the borehole system. But they had to dig at 100 meters down into the ground to get clear fresh water for our use right so that will be connected to the tank which will be moved right into the corner or the, or the back of the house once, once, once we are done. okay so moving on so just to um, just to just to show you the, dem the demarcation again from that from that back wall from that sorry, from that front wall to that back wall is about a about 100, 105 feet let's say that way and then from that corner yeah from that corner there to the far corner to the far corner on the other side okay is about 100 140 feet okay 140 feet so you got 140 feet that way and then about a quarter 100 feet this way okay that is the extent of the two plots okay so our, our farm and our boys quarters are currently on the unoccupied plot which basically will be the um 50 
50 feet this way and 100 feet that way. So we, we have reserved 70 feet that way for the building, 70 feet by 100 feet for our building and the external walls. The unoccup unoccupied plot will be the farm and the future boys. Let me show what I want to do with this. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Chris, you want to talk about a bit more about your um, your ideas for the farm? Hi guys, how are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, this is Wonderland and I'm so feeling the heat. Oh my goodness, it is really, really hot. So if you come with me, please let me take you a tour on the garden that is to be. of a worry that by the time I'm ready to plant maybe the farming season will be over by then so what I decided to do was um, get some someone to get me some bags you know planting bags so I could plant my seeds because I got some seeds flowers and some herbs all the way from London so I'm gonna plant in those bags so they'll get me a top soil the bags are already here are here already and then um, the guy promised to get me some soil as well they call it top black soil which is actually the planting soil or humus soil. So I'll plant in the bags and then um, if they are able to remove these blocks in the time. But the thing is, they are still using the sand over there for the plastering. So the plastering has to be finished because they have to remove this block. They have to take, move this block to the other side. Otherwise they wouldn't have anywhere to put it. So I'll have to wait. But whilst I'm waiting, I might be wasting a lot of time. So I said to plant in the bags. So if they're able to remove it right whilst we're still in the planting season i'll get them to do the ridges then whereas the the, the seedlings are already sprouting like and then transplant them but if, it's, if that's not possible what i'll do is i'll just let it be you know just harvest it in the bags and then wait for the next planting season that's the plan so um honestly i don't know how to do the ridges or where i want the ridges to go now i'll have to wait for them to move all these things out then I can visualize how if I want to do ridges or if I want to do hips I'm not quite sure how I want to do it but the rest is sure that at the back of that place but in towards the fence area I'm gonna plant bananas and plantains that, that I see that's what people do around this area so they uh, plant bananas and plantains and I'm gonna use that that part of you know the back for kind of recycling my um, recycling of um, rubbish. Or, 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 organic, uh, organic organic material, waste, organic yeah. waste. Yeah. Whoops! Like, watch out for the flies. Yeah. <laughs> Vegetables. Yeah. You know, waste from the kitchen. They're gonna go in there. Yeah. To form manure, so I can take them out again and put them round round about the soil to fertilize this to add nutrients to the soil. Yeah. Also, I'm looking at growing a poultry. Oh, poultry. Yeah, poultry. I, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I love those. Um, Chickens uh, running around all the place. Around where, do, where do you plan to put the hen? Some, somewhere in the farm as well. Yeah, I'm going to add one of those. Uh, yeah. To... Put it there somewhere. Somewhere in the farm, yeah. Yeah. So it just, I'm not doing a lot. Just, you know, just um, a room for. How many? Ten, maybe. Ten chickens. Is that not a lot? <laughs> Boy, uh, you'll be running after them then. Because I need those organic eggs. Okay. And I want to eat. <coughs> Whenever I want to have some chicken, I don't need to go to the market to buy it. Who's going to be killing those chickens then? You. Oh my God. <laughs> don't think so, man. Yeah, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I don't think I can do that job. We'll Guys, somewhere. comment below. Can any of you kill a live chicken? I don't think I can do it. I've been, I've, I think I've been in the UK for too long. I, I don't think I can do that at all. At all. But hey, comment, comment, comment below. If you think you can, you're able to kill a live chicken, comment below. So I can, I'll be interested to see how many, how, many, how many people can do that. I don't think I can be brave enough to take life like that. Oh my god <laughs> oh my god but, this is meant to be eaten i know i know but I just i just i don't think i can do it but hey okay we'll see we'll see all right so i also want to farm um some what do you call it goats maybe um lamb or goats lamb that's is that sheep in it lamb sheep. yeah sheep yeah, yeah. Sheep. So if you one or two sheep okay yeah i'd like to have a little thing for them there mm -hmm. you know yeah that's me I really want an animal farm. <laughs> Fantastic. So you want a garden? You, she, so she wants a garden of eating with all those trees, guys. You saw the plan I showed earlier. All those trees, yeah. uh, and uh, she also wants a, um, a, a, you know, some animal, a few animals as well. That's fine. I'm looking forward to the trees. I'm looking forward to eating the, yeah. the, 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 the uh, um, Odara, Odara plant, which is yeah, 
uh, Odara, they call it Odara in, in, in Igbo land, I guess. But yeah, in Ghana, Odara. we call it Alasa, if you know Alasa. Very nice. Um, very nice. I'm looking forward to the coconut because I love coconut. I still haven't had coconut since we came here, so I need to go and get grab some. Yeah, avocados, oranges, just fruits, guys. Fruits, eating from the land, eating organic, and then that'd be great. So I hope yeah. you you can and, you know join us on that journey. Yeah. Right. That's that's, that's fine. So over here, I'm gonna have a little um, garden, not, not a playground, not garden. Yeah, playground. Like yeah. Yeah. We have a cashew nut cashew nut tree around here. Okay. I see. Is it, is it, has it got strong roots? Can, can it be close to the fence wall? Yeah. Oh. Are you sure? It hasn't got strong roots. Very, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. If it hasn't got strong roots, how do the kids climb on, on it? Surely kids it's, could climb on a strong tree. It's not, it's just okay because I, I used to climb on gravel trees when I was a kid. Right, okay. Often, okay. And, um, I think, well, I'll ask them. Let's make sure, yeah. Yeah. Because for me, if, if, it's, yeah. if, it's, if it's a tree to, that kids will climb on, then it's going to be a strong tree. And if it's a strong tree, it can't be too close to the fence wall. Because, guys, I'm sure you know that you, normally you don't, you don't plant uh, big trees next to fence walls because their roots over time, over years, can break the foundation of the fence wall. And that, that's, a, that's a big cost. So if you're going to plant any, anything near uh, a perimeter wall, it has to be one that has medium sized roots or you know, keep the stronger roots within the compound. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah, because I used to climb it a lot, a lot. It, never, and it doesn't grow that very high, just right. medium height. Okay. Tree. Awesome. Yes. And um, yeah, like kids can play around. So I'm going to have it. Yeah, not very close to the fence. Stay away from the fence. Yeah, but the plan is that every tree I plant has to. So guys, the plan is that every tree I plant here has got to have seeds. Sorry, has got to have fruits, so that you know we can enjoy as much fruits as possible. More fruits gives you more water, and you look healthier. You know, sometimes when you eat a lot of fruits, you will remember to eat much carbs. You know, your carbs yeah. will just require little carbs. That way, you stay fit and healthy. And I'm actually looking for that kind of lifestyle for my family, guys. So if you really want to enjoy this, please come back home <laughs> and let's do this all together. Let's exchange ideas. I'm really, really, there's, we've got lots to do together. We've got lots to rub off each other. If you've got any ideas on what you think I should put here, please do let me know. I don't know the kind of grass to plant here yet. Um, friendly grass for the kids to play. Well, I don't know. But mm, maybe, maybe, some, maybe some artificial grass, but that'd be expensive. I don't know. I think natural grass. Yeah, we'll see. So you can just mow it. If yeah. I don't know what grass to be friendly, kid friendly, I don't know. Anyway, na artificial is friendly, natural I is friendly. Know just what artificial grass in yeah. the land of the greens. Oh, yeah, okay, <laughs> fair enough. Yeah, we've got everything here, so we make the most of it. Yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. <laughs> so, coming around to the front. So this, this tank will be moved to the back of the room. So guys, this is the, this is, this is the front of the house, guys. Uh, you've seen this already on the video. That's the, that is the uh, underground septic tank. And uh, we showed them the front, the front of the house here. Yeah, that's the front. That's the front of the house. We've got a good, massive area in the front of the house. A massive area. I think it's probably about a good 15 odd meters to the front part, probably about 20 meters to the to the side part there on the front of the house. And this is Crystal's lovely almond tree. I think it's being watered too much because it's a little bit muddy. Yeah. Okay. So that's a, the almond tree that 
crystal one so we, we want to provide a lot of shade to the front part of the building just to just to cool down the sun a bit guys yeah. i'm sure you hope hopefully you've noticed you've seen that we've already tanned a bit already yeah. my god just the first three days we realized we were becoming significantly darker um well i know you can use some sunblock but it's all it's also sticky so well we love the vitamin d so can't complain <laughs> can't complain oh yeah it's the front of the house that's that's the other almond tree over there that's that block of sand you can see there is um is the rough sand really used for used for concrete in another block work type of type of task we, we're going to have taps on the fence wall as well so that we can um irrigate the farm so yeah so there's a lot of lot of plans to go on the on the sides here we're we'll probably we're still looking at this we're still looking at the landscape we're still looking at the landscape ideas chris yeah. we're still looking at the landscape ideas i'm still designing that on, on paper and i pass that on to the landscape pavement expert who will uh, produce the landscape uh, concrete slabs or tiles whatever it may be but we we are people we don't want the typical arrangements where you, in a Ghana house you go in and the whole place is all tiled up no we want to have a bit of nature a bit of some some plants we want to see some grass here and there so we'll try to have a mixture of that as we as we go along yeah and the side the side of the house as well it's about three meters again we'll see what we we'll do with that what are they digging there i'm not i'm not sure what they're digging there right now can you come and look we're not wearing the best shoes for this yes, we're wearing, we're wearing for this site today. We, um, so we have to be very careful. I'm not too sure what the purpose of that, that trench is. Oh yes, I know. Show them, show them the trench. Can I see here? I yeah, think, guys, to, to find, I think the purpose of that trench is we need to get the pipes out from all the toilets, mm. from all the, from, from all the bases and the things. Those pipes need to come out in, under the ground, make mm. their way and make their way, their way to the septic tank. Mm. That's what I think this is for. Mm. This is digging the ground for, to bury the pipes, to mm. go from the, from all the toilets mm. to go towards the septic tank. Mm. So that is what they're, that, that, that is what they're, they're doing now. Mm. That's, that's what that, that's what I believe that is. Okay. okay awesome awesome look at that sweet corn <laughs> yeah yeah oh, one, of the, one, of the, one, of, one of the workers plant one yeah. of the workers planted it one of the workers planted it so guys um i think that's that's it for today i hope you enjoyed it and uh, that, those, that's our plans for the external 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 view external um compound um it's quite big two plots so um we'll be keeping you informed of how we go along and I uh, hope you can join us next time. So from us, it's uh, Kevin here for my wife and uh, Yibun Guys, take care and see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>